Hey guys, it's Pro Nitro RC here. This is Spencer. Welcome to the Nitro Nation. Uh, today I'll be doing a little bit of an explanation of uh, your gear ratios. So if you don't know what gear ratios, this will help you um, understand it. So basically, the small gear right here, that is your clutch bell. That is your engine driven gear. That is physically connected to the drive shaft of your engine. This is your spur gear. Okay. Now your spur gear is the bigger gear. Um, sometimes it'll be hooked up to your transmission, um, but if you only have a one speed like me on my Nitro Rustler, um, it'll just it'll be a direct drive um, to your rear your rear wheels. So basically, um, gear ratio is all about numbers. Okay. Um, so basically, pretty much what you need to know is the higher the number the more acceleration you'll have. Okay, so let's say, uh, in my case, my spur gear, okay, is 72 tooth. 72. My clutch bell, okay, is 16 tooth. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to divide the bigger number by the smaller number. Okay, that will give you a number. Um, so let's say um, your number is uh, 4.2. That means that your clutch bell, okay, needs to turn 4.2 times to spin your spur gear one time. Okay. So as I said before, the higher your gear ratio is the more acceleration you will have. Okay, the lower this number is, um, the more top speed you will have. So if you're running a um, a very, very, very low number, that means that your top speed will be very high. But your acceleration will not be very high. Okay? But if you have a very high number, such as like let's say 4.8, that means that your acceleration will be very very fast, okay? But your top speed will not be as fast. Um, so that's pretty much gear ratios in a nutshell. Um, I'll have a a little more detailed uh, gear ratio video later. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a Nitro Nation video. Make sure you guys subscribe, because remember, all my subscribers get shoutouts. See ya.